Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AED744. So today, guys, it is time for my Europa League predictions, guys. Europa League semifinal styles and touring course. Let me know your predictions, comments below. And yeah, we're going to go and do a preview, man. Preview for both games. So let's start with the first game, which we've got here. It is Roma versus Bayer Leverkusen. Um, for this game, man, Roma, man. Danny De Rossi, what he's done with this Roma team has been fantastic. He's got Roma into a Europa League semifinals. And well, let's be real, a lot of people wrote Roma off this season, especially after Jose Mourinho got sacked this season, you know, midway through. And people are saying, ah, nah, I can't see Roma doing it. And now all of a sudden, they're in the semifinals and they have a good chance. They have a good chance. And I like the make of this team. You know, Dybala, Lukaku is turning up, you know, Paredes as well. You know, Sivilar, the goalkeeper. Roma is looking very solid as a unit. Unfortunately, though, they're going up against arguably one of the best teams in the world, Bayer Leverkusen. What Xabi Alonso has done with this Bayer Leverkusen team is unbelievable. Bayer Leverkusen still haven't lost a game this at all this season. And it is remarkable how many late goals Bayer Leverkusen have scored. So many late winning goals. And, you know, players look out for Leverkusen are obviously Grimaldo, Patrick Schick, Boniface, uh, Florian Wirtz, Radecki, Tapsoba. Uh, John the Ta. I could go name the entire team. They're pretty much look out for their entire team. And my thing with Roma is that can they get the result? Because remember, the first leg is in Rome. The second leg is in Germany. Roma have to win the first leg. Simply have to. If they want to have any chance to make the final, they have to win the first leg at home. Because I can guarantee this right now, they're not winning away in Germany. They're not. At best, maybe a draw, but there's an, they're definitely not winning away in Germany. And for me, for Roma, it's going to be very interesting because obviously Danny De Rossi is going up against Xabi Alonso. You know, um, both form, uh, both legends of their clubs, uh, both big legends, you know. And I think it's going to be interesting to see which legend comes out on top, you know. And see, the thing what makes this very tricky is that for Leverk uh, for Roma, they're in a very heated uh, Sir uh, Champions League race in the Serie A, you know, because we now know that Serie A is going to have five teams right now in the Champions League. Or, um, and so now Roma is going to be in an interesting position. Do they or do they prioritize the league or do they prioritize the Europa League? Whereas for Leverkusen, this is it for them. They're already done with the league. They already won the league. And now they have pretty much this and the DFB Pokal. So can Leverkusen do history? Can they win the treble, the mini treble? Can they do it, man? I think they can do this. I think they can do this. I think Leverkusen for me have been really, really impressive. I've been super impressed with this team. And I just feel like this team is really difficult to beat. Um, and yeah, I have Leverkusen to make the final of the Europa League. Moving to the other semifinal we have here is Marseille versus Atalanta. Marseille, man, this team, as I call it, has been terrible. D domestically, been terrible this season. And for Marseille, this is their pretty much their only hope to get a Champions League football because they're not getting Champions League through the league. They're just not. And everything lies upon this, you know, and it really lies upon Obama because I called Marseille Obama against C. Because that's what Marseille is like. They're relying on bombing to carry them through. Adelanta, on the other hand, have been fantastic. Gasparini has done a fantastic job. He's got Adelanta to Copa Italia final. He's put Adelanta in a position to fight for top four. And he's got them to Europa League semifinals. Gasparini has done a fantastic job with Adelanta. Adelanta looked very impressive. You know, I really like this Adelanta team. You know, players look out for for obviously Lukman, Coop Miners, Pasolich, Skamaka, Musso. And look what they did against one of the Europa League favorites in the last round, Liverpool. They absolutely tormented them at Anfield and actually destroyed Liverpool at their own game. And we know Liverpool is very good, especially at pressing, especially at Anfield, and how they're able to gig and press. So credit to them. And for Adelanta, this is a fantastic achievement. For Marseille, though, they have to push up. They have to turn up here. Because, like I said, this is pretty much the only hope here. And I look at this Marseille team. I'll be honest with you, I don't see anyone else in this team besides Aubameyang. That is that amazing. Because I'm sorry, the rest of the team is average at best. I'm sorry to say. And for Adelanza, they have a lot of difference makers with this team. And I just feel like for me, as much as I want to see Marseille do it, I think Adelanza have too much. I just think they're much more better as a team, more well-rounded, more co cohesive. And the fact that the second leg is in Bergamo, I think it's too much of an advantage. The only way I could see Marseille making it through is if they win the first leg by a huge margin in the second leg, you know, 
uh, they kind of ease off and maybe Atalanta wins like one or two nil. But they let's let's say Marseille wins the first like like three nil, then potentially. But I don't know, man. I just don't trust Marseille. They've clean sheet, and yeah, I just think this is gonna be too much for them. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. What do you guys agree with me? Do you guys agree with my predictions? Let me know. And yeah, please run a like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.